Hello everybody, myself Vaishnavi Bobde and today's my topic is image tampering analysis using photo forensic tool. What is image tampering? Image tampering can be defined as manipulating a digital image. Image tampering detection is the task to identify if the image was tampered or not. The addition, modification or removal of any essential features from an image without leaving any visual trace is defined as image tampering. It is an art which needs understanding of image properties and good visual creativity. One tempers image for various reasons to enjoy fun of digital work, creating incredible photos or to produce false evidence. There are various cases of image tampering. All these cases can be categorized into group based on process involved in creating false image. The groups are image retouching, image splicing, image cloning and morphing. So, image retouching. It is one of the oldest type of image forgery. Image features are tempered with, used to enhance or reduce digital image features. Considered less dangerous type of image forgery. Now next is image splicing. Fragments of two or more images are combined to form an image. This operation is fundamental in digital photo montaging and in turn is a mechanism for image forgery creation. Image splicing technique may change the visual message of digital image more aggressively than image retouching. Now next is image cloning. Considered as a special case of image splicing where the tampering occurs within a single image or no need to multiple image. Part of the image is copied and then pasted in a desired location within the same image. The purpose of such tampering is to duplicate or conceal a certain object in that image. Now next is... Uh, Blurring is usually used to reduce the expected irregularity along the border of the pasted region. The similarity of texture, color, noise and other information inside the image make it very difficult to detect these kind of tampering via visual inspection. Moreover, performing of post-processing operations such as blurring, adding noise and JPEG compression or geometric operations such as scaling, shifting and rotation increase the hardness of detection task. Now next is morphing. It is special effect in motion picture and animation that change an image or sharp into another through a seamless transaction. Most often it is used to depict one person turning into another through technological means or as a part of fantasy or surreal sequence. Now image tampering detection mechanism. Here are two types of methods active method and passive method. Now I will, I will explain active method. Hidden information inside the digital evidence. Done at the time of data acquisition or before disseminating to the public. Embedded information can be used to identify the source of such image or to detect possible modification to that image. Two major types, digital signature and digital watermarking. Now next is passive method. Use stress left by the processing step in different phase of acquisition and storage of digital image. These stress can be treated as a fingerprint of the image source device. Passive method work in the absence of protecting techniques. They do not use any pre-image distribution information inside into digital image. They work by analyzing the binary information of the digital image in order to detect forgery trace. Limitations is the number of false positive. Now, Next is image tampering analysis technique. Here are seven techniques. First, metadata analysis, timestamps, cryptographic checksums, error level analysis, finding metadata, extracting metadata, similar picture search. Now I will explain metadata analysis. Meta properties consist of information about a file. These are typically the type of file, example, PNG or JPEG file size and the picture dimension. 
If a picture does not have the correct dimension or has a different file size, then the analyst can immediately identify that the file is different from the expectation. It is usually a good idea to also track the number of color channels. A picture with one color channel is monochrome. Three color channels are usually translated as RGB, that is red, green, blue, but may actually be a JPEG by UV data streams. Four color channel can be used RGB with a transparency alpha channel. Even if the transparency is unused, but it can also be a JPEG encoded with CMYK or similar color transformation information. Now next is metadata analysis. While the file name is typically recorded as a meta property, the name is less important than other information. This is because software, services, and examiners may rename file. It is important to remember that none of the meta properties are unique. Two very different pictures can have same, dim same dimension, file size, etc. For example, if you identify the image as a JPEG that is 30 into 300 into 500, but your, your co-worker says it should be PNG that is 350 into 600, then you know you have the wrong file. Here is the image, file type, file type extension. You can see all the features such as file, exif data, xmp data, composite, etc. Now next is timestamp. Files are associated with timestamp that denote when the file was created and modified. These file stamp are independent of the picture metadata timestamp. They indicate the latest possible time that the file could have been modified. Timestamp are typically unreal for determining when a picture was created. The simple act of copying a file or viewing a file may update timestamp and downloading a file to your computer may set the timestamp to the download time and not the latest modified time. However, timestamp can be very useful because they indicate the latest possible time that the file could have been modified. Internal metadata timestamp that are dated after they appear on the computer system may be indication of tampering and if the file with different file name and different timestamp then the oldest timestamp they can be related to the original file name. Now next is cryptographic checksum. In contrast to meta properties, cryptographic checksum that is hashes or digest act like digital fingerprint. First is MD5, the message digest algorithm 5, generate a 128-bit digest of the file. The hash is typically written as 32 alphanumeric that is hexadecimal value. SHA-1, the secure hash algorithm version 1, is similar to MD5, but it generates 168-bit hash value, 160-bit hash value. Compared to MD5, SHA-1 longer hash size and alternate computation method lower the likelihood of hash collision, where two different files generate the same hash value. Now next is SHA-256. The secure hash algorithm version 2 was designed to replace SHA-1 due to theoretical mathematical weakness. Unlike SHA-1, SHA-2 defines a family of function that varies by bit size. 224, 256, 384, 512 bits. Each function is identified by the bit length. Here you can see MD5 hash value, SHA1 hash value, SHA256 hash value. Now, next is error level analysis. Rather than saving color by their red, green, and blue component, JPEG separate color into luminescence and chrominescence channels. The luminescence is effectively the grayscale intensity of the images, and the chrominescence is the red and blue component identify the amount of coloring depend upon the full color intensity. With error level analysis and resaved image, there may be a visible separation between the luminescence and chrominescence channel as a blue, purple, red coloring. 
called rainbowing. Drawing tools such as Photoshop can introduce a distinct rainbowing pattern surface that have near uniform coloring. Here JPG percent you can see luminescence and chrominescence percentage. Now luminescence is a photometric measure of an luminescence intensity per unit area of light travel in the given direction. It describes the amount of light that passes through, is emitted from or is reflected from a particular area and fall within the same solid angle. Brightness is the term for the subjective impression of the objective luminescence measurement standard. Luminescence refers to the brightness of source, the hue and saturation. Now next is chrominescence. Chrominescence is a signal used in video system to convey the color and formation of the picture separately from the accompanying luma signals. Chrominescence refers to color characteristics. Chrominescence is usually represented as two color different components, blue luma and red luma. Each of these different components may have scale factor and offset applied to it as specified by the applicable video standard. In analog television, chrominescence is encoded in a video signal using a subcarrier frequency. Now, next is finding metadata. It is one of the technique of image tampering analysis. Detection. Different picture from includes, different picture format includes different type of metadata. Some format like BMP, PPM, PBM contain very little information beyond the image dimension and the color space. In contrast, a JPEG from a camera usually contain a very wide variety of information, including the camera, make and model, focal and aperture information and timestamp. PNG file typically contain a very little information unless the image was converted into JPEG or edited with Photoshop. Converted PNG file may include metadata from the source file format. Then extracting metadata. Weaving metadata require extracting the information from the file. There are plenty of open source, free and commercial solution available. Some of these only support one file type, example JPG only, while others support many file format. In addition, different program may support different type of metadata. Example of available image metadata tool is EXIF2. Is an open source tool that decodes EXIF, IPTC, XMP metadata. This command line utility is provided as an executable for Windows or source code of source code for Linux and Mac. Now, next is similar picture source. Picture often circulate the internet. One person will see a picture online and cross post it to another forum, where some else will take a copy and distribute it throughout other online servers. Each time someone submits a picture to another online service, information may be lost and the image may be modified. Addition changes to the picture such as scaling, cropping and color adjustment further altered the image. All of these changes impact the overall quality of the picture. Forensic investigator may have a low quality picture or an image without any context. Now, online tool used in image tampering analysis, photo forensic tool. Photo forensic utilize a complex algorithm to decode any photoshopped or manipulated picture. It makes use of error level analysis to identify the reason of an image that has worried comparison level. When considering JPG image, the entirety of the image exists roughly at the same error level. If any portion of an image is found to be at different error level, then we could point toward a modification. Now we will perform our practical that is image tampering analysis using photo forensic tool. So search a website that is photo forensic tool. Here you can see image URL and upload file.
you can upload a file that is our image now you can click on upload file For analysis, we can check digest, digest properties and their values. That is MD5 hash value, SHA1 hash value, SHA256 hash value. Now error level analysis properties. Oh, here you can see. Now next is JPEG percentage. Here you can see the luminescence and chrominescence values. Now next is metadata analysis. Here you can see file, exif data, IPTC data, Photoshop data, XMP data, then ICC profile, APP14 composite. Here all data is used for comparison purpose. Now, secondly, we again go on website that is photo forensic tool. Here you will upload your tampered image for comparison. Now click on upload file. Here you can see digest properties that is MD5 hash value, SHA1 hash value, SHA256 hash value which is used for comparison purpose. ELA, the error level analysis. JPEG percent, the percentage of luminescence and chrominescence values. Now next is metadata. Here you can see file data exif data xmp composite here you can see the creator tool that is canva which is used for tampering our image so we can compare here our tampered image and our raw image so here our practical is completed thank you everybody